I don't know if any of you guys were a special select few that got the Pew's bobblehead, but uh, I got my email notification letter, right? They're getting sent out hopefully soon. I hope I get a good number, man. I'm really excited about it. Let me know if you guys got one down below. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, well, you're not in the loop, man. You gotta get in the loop. Oh, gee. Uh... going on everybody welcome back today guys to the channel today we have a special episode we have the dc gp car pack with the 2020 supra paired up with our brand new next level motion rig here v3 we have this all hooked up out of the box ready to go synced up i'm not gonna lie to you it was probably one of the easiest things that i've done in a very long time it was a very much plug and play unit all you have to do is make sure that you had the software downloaded which is this right here once in it uh, you can then customize your settings. Now I've yet to try 100 or even max this bar out. I'm at 0.78. Everybody that I've talked to online is just, you know, start out slow and work your way up. Now my seatbelt's a little bit of a jimmy rig, so I don't have it completely set up, but if it does get a little bit wild, I can hook up the seatbelt so right I stay in the chair. I think we may need it around this point, but right, I'm just trying to keep it realistic right now. So we're just gonna play with this today, give a nice little first impressions on the wheel with the 2020 Supra and the motion rig man i'm really excited for today's episode first of many coming out man this thing is so easy to use i cannot get over it secondary camera for today we'll be capturing all the movements from the back and we're going to kind of change it around as we drive but this should be a lot of fun for today 2020 supra so we're going to go ahead and activate it once it's turned on it's pretty much good to go and we're going to go into content manager and we're running on shimura toge now this is actually a really fun toge it's got a nice mixture of some kind of dangerous situations i have done a couple and i've played with this for a little bit just to kind of test everything to make sure it's working this is pretty fun man i'm not gonna lie now of course it does come with a pretty hefty price tag if you guys don't know uh, it's about a 3,000 US dollar unit. So it is, right? It's expensive, man. So huge thank you to Next Level Racing for making today's episode possible, man. Make sure you guys go check them out for anything that you guys do need. Now, this rear window, I don't know if I just didn't unpack the mod properly, I guess. I don't feel the chair moving as we're revving, I don't think. I mean, that's probably all customizable at some point. Our 2020 Supra. So once this starts rolling, as soon as we just kind of... Right, I can already feel it starting to move a little bit over the bump. Oh, that's super cool. That is super cool. It's the first time I've actually upped the pressure to 75. I was playing the other night at 50 just to kind of see how it was going to feel. Let's step on the brakes here. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's kind of cool. Oh, man. This is so So You guys can see the chair just kind of pulling back a little bit. Oh, man. And the best thing is, though, you can see the, you know, the power settings that I was using. We were only on 7.75. It probably goes up to about 2 almost. Oh, yeah, man. You can feel it kind of. You can feel the wheel slipping now a little bit. We're just kind of going easy right now up the hill. I don't want to cook them too much. Oh, shit. As we just, right? Hair pit bait. Okay. This is going to be a pretty wild map. This toge section is really meant to be driven, I feel like, either... At 100% or no percent, just a cruise, right? Oh my goodness, man. This thing feels phenomenal, though. This pack, though, I found on, uh, I think it was the Canadian Sim Drifters Facebook, and uh, they posted this up off another group. And I, uh, right, this thing is really fun, man. This is, oh, wait, yep, oh, okay. You can feel the chair, right? The chair is actually throwing me into the corner when we do crash. Let's just try that again here. I'm gonna purposely go into the wall. Oh, damn. Okay. I feel like this is going to get violent at some point, man. It's going to start tossing me off like a goddamn bucket bronco. Oh, this is super cool, though, man. I cannot thank the guys enough over at Thrustmaster and Next Level Racing for hooking up this rig. Do you guys need anything for your rig? Make sure you guys go hit them up. All of their links will be found down below for you guys. I'm going to try and just... Oh, oh, tap it, tap it. Oh, my... Oh! <laughs> Okay, man, we're good. Okay, okay, let me hold on. We're moving it closer here. We're gonna go ahead and get a nice little up close shot of uh, everything working. I'm just gonna try and just take this a little bit easy. Oh, okay. I had to. Man, first impressions are right away off the bat. I am loving this chair. Absolutely loving it. It is definitely probably the best 
thing that I could have done for this rig. And, you know, the best thing about this whole thing is that it's space saving. Right? I didn't have to extend my setup at all. And, you know, a lot of the motion rigs that are out there, they have those bulky four posts. I mean, obviously, they're a huge difference. Oh, my. Oh, oh upwards, you know, 10 plus thousand dollars. But, oh, whoa, oh, oh. whoa. Little bit of the off road strip. That was pretty cool. But, I mean, for what this is, man, I am really enjoying this. And, you know, you don't need a lot, right? I mean, this is just enough. You can kind of feel the G-forces. I felt the taps on that. Oh, oh, no. Okay, yeah. But, I mean, just the fact that it's throwing us in our seat when I'm gassing it. That's just next level, man. Really, though. This is, this is insane. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm just, right, I'm just testing it out, man. I want to see what happens when I understeer into the curb. Right? That's all. There we go. There we go. Car feels good. I just don't understand why the back window was the way it was. If you guys know, oh, look at look at that damn angle, man. I'm stuck. Help! Help, man. Second gear. Third gear. Can we do fourth gear with it? Oh yeah. Smoke my man. Look at this. We're gonna go try fifth. Fifth gear burnout against the wall. We're going to go sixth gear here. Let's try it. Chair doesn't really know what to do. We're just shaking. Oh, there is no fifth gear or sixth gear. Okay. We're out. We're out. Okay. Uh, what other cameras we got for this thing here? Oh, that's a bad camera. Here we go. We are going view three here. This thing does have a lot of power. Oh, yep, yep. It's nice that you can just kind of feel the G-forces, though, pulling you around. We're definitely going to have to be doing lots of episodes with this thing. I mean, there's so many games that are compatible. Yep. Oh, oh, yep. Game and G, Euro Truck Simulator. I mean, imagine playing Euro Truck now with an air seat, pretty much. You know, like, you get that, oh, the nice kind of truck driver feeling with this seat, too. If you can dial it in nice and soft for you. Uh, there's just no better feeling. Than playing with this rig right now this is oh yeah okay this is going to change the way that you feel the game i mean just the way that you know, your side to side movements oh we tap that jumping it oh that's a big tap bad tap bad tap bad tap okay uh-huh car feels good though we didn't really tune anything out of the gate it's just it just slides ay 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 sideways on there oh my god we must have hit 90 easily uh-huh we're riding that inside feels like look at all the grass though man. it's a lot oh we're getting some spurts right now i don't know what's been going on but ever since i've been using this i've been getting a little bit of kind of those those leg spike spurts i mean the only downside though at the moment is my shifter and well, I guess my handbrake's fine, but my shifter, though, definitely needs to be higher. That's really the only thing. I'm barely able to grab it. Um, so that's one of the only things I'd like to see change with this. We're not going this way. Okay. Tap that big time. Oh, that's it. Okay, we can do the uphill, though. I'm down to do the uphill. Let's go in here. I don't know if I can adjust this on the fly, but let's give it a shot, though. I'm going to go set a Corsa. We're going to bump this up to one let's just go back to default because everything was default then i want to start at the bottom here let's just go activate maybe okay camera four for the uphill i am pretty sure that we're at 100 we're gonna we're gonna buckle up just to make sure right <laughs> a little bit nervous all right one i guess one we're not even at max man look at me what the hell am i doing man i'm buckling up for my sim rig i love it Oh, it's really pushed me back further. I oh, yeah, I definitely updated. Okay. We're at 100. Um, we're going to see how this goes. Oh, this is fun, man. Second gear it. The only thing, though, is that I'm worried about is when I crash. That's really the only thing, because it really does exaggerate the motion, right? See what I'm saying? Look at that. That's sick. Clutch dump. Oh, boy. Yeah. We wedged ourselves. Oh, my God. Watch this chair just glitch the shit. Oh my god. No, we're actually stuck. We wedged. I gotta be honest though, for what this is, man, it is barely noticeable in the sound department. 
I mean, you can hear it a little bit with the springs, but for the most part, though, I don't hear anything, man. I'm going to just try to be as quiet as I can with my movements. There's a little bit of creaking, but for the most part, though, just have a quick listen. fun we're back on the road you guys get the idea though man this thing is pretty sick definitely have to come back and test out uh, a higher force feedback setting on this thing i feel like because this is just too fun not to man all we need now is a direct drive wheel and we have the ultimate sim rate really though but what else do i need man let me know down below i can't think of anything this third gear so nice. Just extend the shit out of every corner that we need. Just nice so that I can feel how much I'm breaking with the car. I mean, that's also a big thing, I feel like, is just understanding your weight balance of what you're driving, right? I mean, we're going to try to just spin this out. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm not going to lie. I mean, I've been in cars with horsepower. It gets violent in there. If you're not fully secured in that harness, I mean, you're going to be flying all around. So, okay. My wheel cam is probably the shakiest it has ever been. We're going to try and come at this a little bit better here. Here we go. Fat peel coming out. Let's get out of that. The tires are nice and hot. get to the... I don't know how I didn't hit that, to be honest with you. I hit that, though. I don't know if any of you guys were a special select few that got the Pew's bobblehead, but uh, I got my email notification letter, right? They're getting sent out hopefully soon. I hope I get a good number, man. I'm really excited about it. Let me know if you guys got one down below. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, well, you're not in the loop, man. You gotta get in the loop. Oh, gee. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I want to give a huge thank you once again to Next Level Racing uh, for making this whole process happen. I mean, without them, we wouldn't be doing this today. So just a huge thank you once again. I mean, this thing works in third person too? God damn, man. This is sick. But I will say, though, I had a boatload of fun, man. And I cannot wait to uh, experience some more cars. Proper racing, stuff like that, too. iRacing offers a you know, the B3 support also. So, I mean, our options are definitely endless with content with the motion rig. So definitely uh, stay subscribed, post notifications, man, turn them on. Also, too, if you guys are interested in getting yourselves one and have any questions, feel free to either DM me or anything like that, comment section, and I'll be sure to check those out and uh, try to get back to as many people as I can. And it, right, it's an investment, man. I get it. If you guys have questions, I'll be there for you. Oh, where are we? Oh, we're at the construction. Oh, my God, man. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Like I said, I'm an idiot. Okay, saying shit twice now, man. I just got to end this shit before I start screwing up, right? I always start doing that. Third year's doing pretty good, though, man. It's just, it's so... Oh, leafy? I don't know. I like salads. I don't know, man. I'm rambling at this point. This I just want to keep driving. That's really the thing, man. <laughs> Honestly, though, a lot of fun. Huge thank you. Check out their links down below. And I'll see you guys back here tomorrow for another episode. Leave your uh, your game down below that you guys want to see. And, uh, ooh, should I try it for the end? Fall off the cliff? Oh, no. <laughs> see what happens, man. I'm buckled in, right? What's the worst that could happen? Thank you guys so much for watching once again for today. Oh, <laughs> gentlemen, I'm out. Peace.